Alright guys, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Tonight we're going to be tying an extended body grasshopper fly. And this is a pretty unique pattern because you have to tie an extended body. It'll be all made of foam. And I've had a lot of requests of people asking how in the world do you tie those extended bodies. It can be a little tricky at first. It's kind of mind-boggling sometimes of how... Uh, how people do that and I know I had a rough time with it at first so hopefully this helps somebody basically you tie your extended body first the part that extends off the back of the hook and we're going to be tying that on a needle I got a really small um, diameter sewing needle and we're just going to tie like that needles our hook so we're going to lay down some real loose thread wraps and just trim that off and we got about a quarter inch thick um, wide piece of foam. This is two millimeter foam. Just your average craft foam. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. And basically you're going to tie segments onto this needle. And the goal is to be able to slip this body off the needle at the end. So you don't want to tie it super tight, but enough to hold these segments together. So we're going to start this by tying this foam down real close to the edge. And all I do is take two wraps and that's enough to hold that segment together. Two wraps of thread, fold your foam back, advance your thread forward, how far you want the seg how wide you want that segment to be. You just kind of get a feel for that. Fold that foam around the needle, take two more wraps, and that creates your uh, body segment. Just rinse and repeat after that. Just keep going with it. And I like to make three total segments three full segments on the back of this particular pattern. So that makes two and I'm just gonna advance your thread forward a little bit. For that third and final segment. And I take maybe three wraps on that last segment. And we're gonna whip finish on that last segment. It can be a little tough with that excess foam, but you need that for the rest of the fly. I just do about a three turn whip finish, and that's that for the extended body. Alright. Now, like I said, all we're going to do is pull that body right off the, right off the uh, needle. Just grab it, pop it right off there like that, and as you can see, you got a nice segmented foam body that you can tie onto a hook now and continue your fly. So we're going to continue this on a Montana Fly Company size 8 standard dry fly hook. Just give ourselves a nice good thread base here. And because you have some loose thread in this extended body where you pulled it off the uh, needle, I just add a little bit of zappa gap, really tiny little bits of zappa gap down inside those segments. And that just keeps everything nice and solid while you're on the water. Okay, you're going to start this, you're going to attach this uh, extended body where that first segment, or that last segment ended on your body and then I like to just go ahead and put a little line of glue on the hook itself. You already have a nice thread base there. Real tiny line of glue. That way as you wrap up forward, wrap this foam around the hook, it'll just be super solid. There's one segment there. And so I do two segments on the hook and leave about an eye length away from the eye because you're going to have some foam built up there towards the front. There you go. You got a nice segmented body. It looks pretty sweet. I, I really enjoy working with this foam. You can get pretty creative with it. Now for the wing, I'm just going to use a uh, standard piece of deer hair and just natural color. Going to trim about half a pencil thickness out, and we're going to go ahead and comb that out and stack it. Make sure all the tips look nice and lined up. And 
And a way to speed up the process on this particular pattern, I usually tie a bunch of extended bodies with the needle. And uh, however many, I'll tie like a dozen extended bodies at once. And then you can just take that needle off and just crank out a bunch of flies. Because after you get those bodies done, it's real simple. It's just attaching that body and adding the wing and legs. And that's pretty much it. So here's our wing all stacked up. And we're just going to measure out this wing a little bit past the bend of the hook. And a trick I really like to do is after you have that wing measured, just go ahead and trim off your deer hair. And now give your thread twist. And this will um, this process will let you make a really nice clean wing without having to trim anything at all once you tie it on. And this twisting of the thread allows you to control your thread better. And just grab those tips and pull straight down on it. I just do three tight thread wraps and you got a perfect wing just like that. No trimming needed or anything. So, Okay, now I'm going to add some crystal flash. I take about half a dozen fibers of crystal flash. And I like to just double this up. So I'll go ahead and tie this in to the length I like. A little bit past the tips of the wing. Make a thread wrap. Flip it over. And obviously they're going to be a lot longer, but I'll trim them up. A couple thread wraps and just trim that excess. Now we're going to add the legs, which I use just regular jig skirts you can buy at any fishing shop um, and these ones have variegated or barred legs mixed in I really like those barred legs on this hopper so we're going to take two of those barred legs and we're just going to tie in one on each side of it and you don't need a bunch of thread wraps to hold this stuff together that's one thing I used to do a lot is take all kinds of thread wraps, but really you just need one or two on each side. It keeps your fly nice and clean. Less thread wraps is less bulk. Two wraps just like that. And you got nicely splayed legs on each side. And uh, then it's as simple as folding this piece of foam up back over for the head. And just doing a couple wraps to form that head. Just like that. Got our legs straight still. And then I trim this foam just a little bit beyond our thread wraps. Last step is just add a, I take a little bit of yellow foam and uh, just put a little, uh, just square of it as an indicator foam right on top takes only one or two thread wraps again right on the center you can use any color you like or not have any at all if it's real spooky fish you're afraid of them seeing that foam I haven't had much issue with that but can be on the safe side and just not add anything alrighty and then we're just going to whip finish this And I'll add some glue to the head too, usually, but three turn whip finish will usually do it, and then just add some zap gap. But uh, that's pretty much it. You got a nice hop. You can keep those legs long like that, or I like to just trim about a head length forward, fold them both forward, make sure they're even. And the backs are pretty much how I like them, uh, about to the back of the body. So, And that is the extended foam body hopper. If there's another fly you'd like to see me tie, comment below, give me a subscription and a like, and let me know what you think. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.